was going to Bethany Nazarene College that time. So I went to school before I could be a draftsman. And I worked uh, on the night shift as a janitor there. I always been one, I like to take pride in my work. I wanted to be good. <laughs> I graduated in 62, and I believe it was that fall that we started in uh, work at American Trailers, and Mr. Barrett left and started his own company. And I got to go with him also, and uh, we were there for about 11 years. That's where I met Kenny. We developed a friendship there that's lasted us for a long time. <laughs> I was 17 years old when I went to work building trailers. I, I, I think maybe the comp company I went to work for might have, might have worked my age on the application. <laughs> when we were working together at, at Barrett, and uh, we just hit it off right away. When that company sold is when we came and started Four Star. I remember, uh, the day that I uh, told Mr. Barrett that I was going to resign, that morning going to work, I was, saw a big rainbow in the sky. It gave me confidence that we was doing the right thing. And I feel like the Lord has blessed Four Star Traders because we've tried to honor Him. Mm -hmm. And we feel like that God's blessings uh, has been upon us from Four Star Traders. We had dealers that were ready to come on board before we ever started building trailers <laughs> mm -hmm. that we had got acquainted with over the years before in uh, mm -hmm. 84 when we put our first trailer. First trailer, yeah. It was uh, pretty exciting actually. We thought that that was probably the prettiest trailer that had ever been built. <laughs> That's the most amazing part of it and reminiscing mm -hmm. is where we came from. And it was hard. When we first started, uh, we didn't even have a forklift, much less a hoist. We were never satisfied, I don't think. I think that was one of the, actually my daddy taught me that when I was just a very young man. He said, one of the best advices he ever gave me was don't ever be satisfied. How boring would it be to just do the same thing and be satisfied with it and just that's so boring. It's always been a great honor. And I've always talked to my people in that way. For anyone to choose to, to spend their hard-earned money with us, it's an honorable thing to me. A happy customer is worth a lot. Yes. First, we had a foundation. We both felt the same way about people and, and product. It had to be the best. That's what really makes the company fun, mm -hmm. is new ideas. Challenges. Yeah. The Quiet Ride stuff was just spectacular right from the beginning. We worked it to death, worked with some friends of mine out in the plant. It, it was just a wonderful accomplishment. So just throw it at us. We'll go to work on it. Well, we couldn't have built this place without our people. The people we have are spectacular. That is your company. Our people were so good for us. They did such a great job. Every man out there, every woman out there, they just remind me of me. Always striving for perfection. It's just who we are. It's, when I say we, all of us. Put our hearts into it, you know. We've, it's just something within us that made us want to do the best we could. That's, that's what you know, really builds a company, I think. You listen. Always listen. There's always an opportunity, if you'll just listen, to do better. Yeah, what we build next year will be better than what we built this year. It's always been that way. Yeah. Uh, what we have ended up with is something we're both very proud of. It wouldn't have happened if I hadn't had him as a partner. That's a fact. We build a good one now, don't we, Kenneth? Yes, we do. <laughs>